in my final exam of the gate i finished my paper in one and a half hours i asked them can i leave they said no okay that's jaydeep panwa he secured all india rank one gate computer science how does he able to do that in the last 45 to 50 days In this video Jaydeep shares the unconventional strategies that he had used to stand out from everyone during his preparation. In this video he'll talk about how he solves questions in gate exam faster and accurate. He'll talk about what's the strategy he had used for his last 45 days of preparation. 7 to 8 questions which I had no idea how to solve those questions. And most importantly he will talk about how he handles the pressure in exam hall and the mindset he had in exam so that you can score more marks in gate exam. Along with that there's a separate section in the video where he shares his complete one year strategy G for the gate 2025 aspirants or anyone who has one year for preparation with that being said chal let's start hi jaydeep how are you hi i'm doing good how are you yes i'm fine so first of all why did you prepare for gate exam so for me i wanted to improve my problem solving skills because i didn't score much well in my j okay in during the second year i developed a lot of interest in computer science fundamentals and i started okay. reading reference book instead of just uh, mugging up the answers and then i decided okay uh, this is for me i i really like this uh, understanding the core fundamentals of computer science and that's okay. something i want to learn more in depth So Jaydeep when did you started your gate preparation So I started my gate preparation uh, immediately after my third semester and I enrolled in coaching Okay fine cool What is the strategy that you have used for for your preparation in the last 45 days So in the last 45 to 50 days uh, I tried not to learn anything new because see what happened if you if you are attempting some test series there would be some question and after reading that we will feel okay this is the topic Uh, that might be that might come into exam but uh, reality is if you have prepared for let's say 8 to 9 months you have covered most of the topics which are frequent and which has high probability that they will be asked in exam so what i used to do if there is some topic okay it's uh, interesting topic but the chances that it would occur in gate is very if they are very low i would ignore it i won't learn anything new that was mm. like that was rule for me and okay. the second thing was uh, i used to attempt a lot of tests one flt in a day uh, i used to maintain that thing uh, attempt wow. the flt uh, analyze as much as you can and okay. make sure that every time you are making new mistake and okay. just to keep things simple uh, like seven days before i Uh, before the actual gate exam i stopped okay. attempting the test series because what happens if let's say you attempted 2 3 days before and you had a uh, low marks it might happen because the paper yeah. might be tough after all it's a test series or the question might be wrong but uh, yeah. that might affect the your morale for the actual test so in order to prevent that i didn't attempted any test uh, before the 7 days i'll try to play my best on the on the knowledge i have Oh nice. Hey friends, before finding out how Jaydeep handles his pressure in exam hall and the strategy he used to minimize silly mistakes. If you are looking for a right test series right now to level up your gate 2024 preparation, I would recommend Gate Bala because their test series is one of the best. And due to Christmas and New Year, it was on a great discount and you can avail it for rupees 500. And furthermore, if you are someone who is aspiring to prepare for gate 2025 or gate 2026, now is the right time for your preparation. And if you are looking for a good quality coaching at an affordable cost, I would suggest Gate Bala because they have some of the India's best faculty and And guess what? Due to Christmas and New Year, the courses at Gate Bala are at a huge sale. Parakram ESE plus Gate plus PSU 2025 for all branches at 11,999 rupees. Shreyashad Gate 2026 plus PSU plus Placement Preparation Batch C Computer Science at 15,999 rupees. Shreyashad ESE plus Gate plus PSU 2026 Batch B at 15,999 rupees. Parakram Gate 2025 Batch at 5,999 rupees. Parakram Gate 2025 CS and Data Science is at 9,999 rupees. And also PW is giving. Gate Kazana with 2025 and 2026 batches at just rupees 1999 rupees in which you will get recorded lectures by India's best faculties on PW app and DPP will be provided in bilingual and the best part is you can use the code ragu500 to get an additional 500 rupees off in like uh, during your preparation especially in the final stages definitely there will be a lot of mind games like overthinking anxiety stress so how did you manage those during your preparation one thing i had understood that by the end of my preparation ki no matter how much i overthink how much i take the stress it's definitely not going to uh, help me in positive manner and uh, it will ruin my like daily structure if you are taking lot of stress of course you are 
nights will be get ruined because you won't be able to sleep properly and it is going to make your performance even worse that i understood during my initial stages of preparation only so okay. every time in back of my mind there used to be this thought okay uh, these things i shouldn't be care about and till the end i never thought like okay i want this rank or that rank never uh, to be honest okay. i never even thought ki like okay i want below 500 or anything like that even though i knew that i am scoring rank one in almost 80 to 90% of the tests that i am attempting but i okay. never thought about it okay it's it's not my concern like what rank i get so that helped me a lot to stay detached from uh, this kind of anxiety and stress that helped me a lot okay nice 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 so how did you minimize silly mistakes uh, during your preparations So what I used to do is that during the preparation I used to attempt a lot of tests so that was a rule for me ki no matter okay. how many times I read things unless and until I'm not applying them I won't know what actually where I'm lacking in that particular concept I will attempt the test I will go through the all the mistakes I have done and I would okay. keep track of those mistakes for each subject I used to have one word document where whatever new thing I'm learning from the test or whatever mistake I'm making I'll just mm. keep track of those that question and the answer I used to keep that document in revision for each subject so that it ensured that okay even if i have made silly mistake by just revising it once next time if i see similar question the chances are very less i'm going to repeat the same mistake okay fine cool what's the exact time you take to finish the entire test in my final exam of the gate i finished my paper in one and a half hours i asked them can i leave they said no so <laughs> i sit okay. there to <laughs> uh attempt the rest of the test however guys don't get wrong idea that i am super brilliant or something like that no uh, okay <laughs> if you check my track record before my engineering <laughs> you okay. you would be surprised if you are practicing so many questions now what happens there is very less chance that you would encounter something new even though i took one and a half hours it's not necessarily that uh, to score the best rank you need to do it exam in less than uh two hours or two and a half hours yeah. if you have uh, the order of question will decide your momentum and your mindset so it's completely personal so don't worry about how much time you are taking however of course you should try to minimize the number or like the time you yeah. need to solve the questions there there must be days where the test series gone wrong and you might have been you know low on your mindset or something like that so how did you manage it during those times i recall one incident clearly it was month of january i had attempted i was attempting one of the test full length test series of zeal and there were okay. seven to eight questions straight in that test series which i had no idea how to solve those questions and oh. i just <laughs> like uh, it was a complete uh, confident breaker thing for me because it was a first time something like this had happened so i just yeah. closed the test series and uh, left it in midway thought for a while then i felt that okay if this seven to eight questions are so so tough there would be other guys who would be wasting time on that if these questions can yeah. break my morale definitely it would have smashed others morale also so i yeah. opened laptop immediately and started attempting the test again again there were two three tough question but after that the rest of the questions were pretty easy i attempted okay. those those eight nine uh, question i know like these are something else only these are completely okay. alien and okay. uh, i finished the test series i had 75 marks rank was one only and the okay. rest of the people had very bad marks but in that moment i understood okay. whatever happens leave it don't let okay. your previous questions affect your next question previously you are practicing there is no high pressure situations but tests are something like make it or break it you have to you have to give gate exam or otherwise you have to wait for one more year so how did you manage all of the thing in your exam and what's your mindset exactly in exam all so my heart beats were little high before the uh before i i was going to attempt the exam uh, but then uh, uh, once the exam started i started focusing on the question itself and again i got into zone okay i just have to solve the question and uh, it was just the question and me before attempting the exam i used to have a 10 uh, breaths in a rhythm like inhale okay. for 2 3 second and exhale that to was that something of a habit of mine it went smoother then after that what was your approach in solving all the questions so that you can finish it in one or 30 minutes huh? initially my habit used to be i would attempt two marks question and then one mark question mm. uh, that was my strategy but now i don't like if i look 
back i don't think your strategy or anything it's your personal choice whatever suits you best you can go with it because i had friends who had different strategies and they are in top 10 so it's really your personal preference whatever you prefer and mm. at my time i just went from first to last question i didn't have any option so what was your strategy uh, from the starting to beginning like even though it is like two or two years like how did you frame so what i used to do is that uh, whatever topic my professor is going to teach in the upcoming lectures i would okay. just go and uh, go through the standard reference book read the topic once and i will highlight all the important things like we can't afford to read everything from the reference book again and again from the scratch Yeah. So just highlight the important things. Anyways, those are going to be covered in the lecture. Yeah. And if there is something new I came across in lecture, I would keep track of that in the notebook. So yeah. that was used to be my strategy for the revision. I never uh, like the approach that okay, once I complete the entire subject, then only I will attempt that subject test. No, that's. Uh, wrong approach at least in my perspective it's fine just attempt the test at least okay. whatever you are know build up on that make that area strong so that if the question falls in your range you are going to kill it in last 4 to 5 months uh, i used to revise just the highlighted part of reference book and whatever the notes i am making and then attempt the test as much as i can okay fine how did you prepare for gate exam did you fully rely the material from the coaching or did you take any other sources that you had used for the gate exam uh, i completely relied on my coaching my professor uh, used to teach from like he used to teach concept from standard reference book only so okay. i used to read standard reference book also but again it's not necessary that you you have to read it because uh, mm. it's definitely whatever you are using trust it to the fullest and use it like completely okay. exhaustively okay fine cool now one more final question is like uh, you mentioned that uh, you have prepared in college so mm. you, you don't always have the motivation so how did you handle the distraction from them and how did you handle the distractions from social media so how did you handle okay. it in terms of social media even today i, I don't use insta or anything like that or snapchat i okay. had just one facebook account uh, okay. which i never opened during my preparation and yeah. uh, my professor he told me clearly uh, if your only aim is get then don't go for internships or placement so okay. during my btech i never went for any internship nor any placements so like if the your decision is clear okay i'm not going to appear in it then it will save a lot of efforts because i seen students who will try to do both the things or multiple okay. things uh, okay. so when it comes to uh, there are generally three option either go for placement or gre or get or mba whatever your choice might be consult who the people who are acing in that field of course these people are really helpful they will help you decide what's you pay option suits you the best and just go with it don't get distracted if someone is preparing uh, for some other field because mm. it doesn't matter if you are giving your best in your field eventually you will reach where you want to however yeah, if you true. are trying to go like do multiple things you are bound to fail the chances of success reduces by a lot yeah you said no to all the distractions only focusing on gate <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay fine thank you so much man thank you so much for joining